Hello everyone, Sigler here, Pork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I finally hit 40 on my my uh, Warlock. Um, it, uh, I got the last push because of the buff, the experience buff that we got today. So yeah, I did a... There we go, in the video, right over there, is when I got the ding. So yeah, I'm level 40 now, and I got a lot of plans on this one. I've been playing a little bit of, uh, like, on other servers and stuff, because the leveling has been quite, well, like, drawn out, it felt like. And now when, then when we got the, the experience buff, I felt like, well, I really need to do the last push now. So yeah, I'm level 40 now, and uh, happy, happy, happy. <laughs> But uh, today where I'm going to show you the build that I did uh, this run in. Because the first time, uh, like as soon as I dinged, pretty much, I did respec. And I did a... Uh, what, what, is, what do you call it? Race of Fend Down. Because I like their skiers in there and stuff that I want. So I've only done one run so far. But I've done a a lot of thought over the weeks and stuff of my way that I like to play the game and yeah I've been testing out and stuff like that with different kind of builds so I tried a like I said before I did try with the like intensity and with the pyroclasm but the problem with pyroclasm is that it feels like it doesn't proc that often actually and yeah i mean for for me personally it feels like rain of fire hellfire both of them are not that great because it even if you have the intensify it doesn't deal that much damage and i'm gonna explain uh, another reason is that i don't feel like the lake of fire is that great for for me because it feels like even if you can even if you would cast a rank one, for example, this one, uh, do like this, so it's uh, on in the background. So even if I would cast like a rank one, um, here we go. Even if I would cast a rank one, rain of fire is still two hundred and fifty mana, and that feels like that is a lot of da uh, like a lot of mana uh, compared to what I could spam instead. And the playstyle that I've thought out is uh, like my new build is like this. Previously, I did the improved Shadow Bolt, but it doesn't do that much for me really because with this build, we are pretty much spamming one ability only. And I think that everyone knows what that ability is, and that is Searing Pain. So this build is revolving around. Uh, searing pain pretty much because yeah it just is it just is that great and we got a lot of things that is uh, procking out of it like it, there there's a lot of uh, synergizing with the the ability and we're gonna discuss that today so uh, I start off with cataclysm and it has the reduction of mana cost and I mean that is not bad I mean five percent is quite a lot in the long run so yeah, it, it feels like the better choice compared to this one because it, like we don't we don't it's not that great, and so we go in in cataclysm. Then after that we go into bane, uh, obviously um, because the days. I mean, why would would I have to days when I'm a tank? I don't, I don't really feel feel the need at all, and with it I can uh, I can cast the. Uh, emulate on bosses with like a, for pre pull, and after that we go with improved firebolt because the imp is dealing so much damage. I mean, look at this. This is from the run. It is not the legit build because I I started with the uh, with the drain life with this uh, mastering channel, but I felt like I didn't really need it because. It's not, I'm the tank. It's like we have a healer for that. And sure, if uh, the healer, if, if I feel like the healer 
doesn't have me, I can easily swap uh, from Demonic Tactics to Master Chandler. So I can just do that if I want to. But I'm going to explain why I prefer Demonic Tactics in a little bit. So yeah, with this build we're doing a tons of damage with him. And it, deal it dealt... <laughs> The overall with in, in this run, it did set almost 20% of the damage. So yeah, it, it's quite a lot of damage it does. So yeah, we're going with the improved Firebolt. After that, we're going to go with Devastation, just because of the crit. Because we want as much crit as possible because of a lot of things actually. Which I'm going to explain to you why. Moving on, we have the improved Searing Pain, which is like Searing Pain. We're going to spam it. We're going to crit even more. We want to crit as much as possible with this build. After that, we go with Destructive rain Reach. And the reason is actually because with Searing Pain dealing high amount of threat, it's technically a ranged taunt, even though the actual taunt is Menace, which is a, a melee one. <clears throat> so and I think it's not a range I, I, I think you have to be in the melee so by having that it deals a huge amount of threat and I, you can pre-pull with it like you can you can like searing pain searing pain searing pain and then once they're stacked up you can do a shadow cleave you if you want to but yeah, that, that's what we're going to do. And that's why I love the re uh, destructive reach. Because like I said before, I, I don't really... It feels clunky to use Rain of Fire with Lake of Fire and stuff like that. It's just a w huge waste of mana, in my opinion. So yeah, that's how I play it. After that, we go with Ruin, obviously, because we want to deal as much damage as possible. And after that, we are going to go with three points into Amber Storm just to deal the three extra, uh, six extra percent damage. And you could, if you want to, you could skip two points in the improved imp and go with the full on Ember Storm. That is up to you if you want to deal more damage and stuff. But I really like the improved imp because first of all, the imp deals more damage. So technically you're having a pretty decent DPS with you whenever you're questing or whatever really and also the fire shield is very nice if you're doing whatever really because it's a threat whenever they're hitting you so technically because you're dealing damage so it's just more damage anyway and everything and also blood pact which is giving both me the imp and everyone in raids and in in groups more health so yeah and you could also go like ditch this one the the ember storm uh, so you could remove three points in ember storm two points in uh, searing improved searing pain and then go into the um, uh, demonic embrace if you feel like you need the survival the survival the ability but yeah this is the build that I'm running and I well, the result has been very nice. So far, at least. So, moving on to the runes. Um, I'm playing with Demonic Tactics. Just because I want to crit as much as possible. I want as much base crit, really, as possible. And, and that is... I want as much crit as possible because of Dance of the Wicked. Because the more crit we have the more dodge chance we're gonna have. So it feels like everything is revolving around me dodging more and more. I mean, I, I think it's been up to like 46 plus percent. And with your base one, it's almost like a 50% chance of dodging, which means so that you can pretty much face tank anything and as much as possible. And we're tanking, we're pretty big, uh, big tanks. So, yeah, and with the Demonic Tactics as a base, whenever we don't have Demonic Grace up, because with Demonic Grace and everything, 
the 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 dodge is insane so yeah um, and with demonic tactics whenever we don't have demonic grace the it pushes up the dodge quite significantly so as a base one so that's what i like about it and also with as much crit as possible we are constantly gonna have the shadow and flame up which i love because that is like 10 percent more damage so that is another reason why i like the improved searing pain because this one it has 100 percent uptime it has a hundred percent uptime whenever you're playing this build like it is always up and 10 percent is very nice but yeah i run like i said i'm running with uh, demonic tactics shadow and flame uh, we could change to another one uh, later but i haven't uh, picked it up yet so i'm gonna have to try it and see how it goes and i'm running with the demon demonic grace you could run with incinerate but it feels like the 20 percent is like sh you have to precast it it's up for 15 seconds compared to like this one it's uh, up for six seconds and has a 20 seconds cooldown so i mean if a if a fight is longer than 15 seconds well i i mean it doesn't really matter for me personally i like the demonic grace because if a fight is longer than 15 seconds it, like your leg rune is dead almost in a sense because you you have no interruption uh, talent so if you want to recast it you get ready to be interrupted a lot because you're a tank they're gonna hit you so that's why I like Demonic Grace instead, because it's like the constant dodge, you're getting more crit, because you're getting more dodge just because the Demonic Grace, and also you're getting crit, which makes your Dance of the Wicked dodge even more also, and you're getting mana back with, uh, with that one as well. So yeah, it's just everything, and obviously we're going to run with the, the Metamorphosis rune. So yeah, that is pretty much the the build that I'm uh, I've run with. I've got a few pieces here and there, um, and yeah, I'm uh, obviously we're playing with Firestone just to have the extra the it's 14, 14 fire damage, and it's also the forty to sixty additional fire damage, which is also nice. And yeah, after that, like just go ham and even though we don't have the interrupt if i see that there's a lot of minions running towards you if you're if you cast a hellfire like if you get one tick it's it's a huge amount of damage anyway and sure it would get interrupted but it's a huge amount of mana also but it's a huge like aoe threat sure you're taking damage as well and also we have the demonic howl also for a wee taunt but if there's a lot of like something in the back or anything and you feel like okay i'm losing aggro on a lot of stuff you can actually cast it and hope and like you will pretty much always guarantee to get at least one tick sometimes you're not but yeah so yeah that's the build i'm running with and I don't think there's anything else really that needs to be discussed. So yeah, I am working on a a affliction farming build, which is gonna be insane. I've tried it uh, while leveling, and yeah, it's like constant no go. Like you, you're never stopping. You're absolutely never stopping because the affliction build with the metamorphosis Mwah. it's perfect but yeah uh, click on this video to see another video from the past and i hope to see you in the next in in this video over here and until next time pork pork <laughs>